humans, I'm Yo Schiller, and welcome to Fun February! For the remaining weekdays of the month, I plan to play a variety of Super Mario Maker levels, and I plan to create a variety of Super Mario Maker videos. If you'd like to submit your own levels to me, then please click the link down below, or click on the YouTube card to be directed to a video where you can properly submit your levels to me. For now, let's get things underway! These are the levels that I should be playing in today's video. There are timestamps in the description in case you want to see me play any of these levels specifically. With all of that information out of the way, let's just get right to it! Super Mario Maker! Whoosh! Okay, it's time for another exciting round of Mario Maker levels. This first one is called Deathland by Peep Marines, or Pepe Marines for all I know, but Deathland is what it's called. Here we go! I'm ready! I'm ready for death! Nah, well, let's see. Oh, yep, 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 yep. <laughs> okay, uh, so I gotta time this perfectly, right? Is that what I'm doing? Uh, no, no, there is, there is no easy way out of this. Okay, okay, maybe if I wait a little longer. Mm, I, I don't even know. I'm pretty sure all of these fire bars are synchronized in a way to where I can't just run through that. Is there some sort of like secret power up that I'm missing? Cause I don't, <laughs> I don't know how I'm supposed to get through this. I'm already stumped. It's the first level that I'm playing today and I'm stumped. There's nothing I can do. Look at that. Look at that. Any slight glimmer of hope that I have is immediately ruined every time I die. And uh, that was just me being an idiot. I have nobody to blame but myself. What do I even do? <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. I can I can wait this out, but they're all they're all going at the same speed, right? Uh, yeah. Yep. Yep. Mmm. 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 Oh, joyous day! A day where I can't even get past the first five seconds of a. Oh my goodness! What do I do? <laughs> Uh, oh, 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 okay. That's a cheap shot. I don't like levels that do that. Oh, in order to beat the level, you have to find the invisible block. Uh. Okay, well now I know what I'm supposed to do, and now I, now I know what the objective of this level is. I will state it again. I don't like levels that do this, but I'll beat your level. We'll see if there's a fair challenge that comes on soon enough. I mean, this whole idea of me running through the spikes before the star power wears off, that's a fair challenge. But me having to find a star block out of nowhere, it's completely invisible and I'm required to find it in order to beat the level? I don't agree with that. Oh, whoopsies. Okay, I was trying to get the star a little later so I had more time to get through the spikes and I messed that up, so let me try that again. Okay, here we go. And hallelujah! Let's go! I think I completely butchered that. It's hallelujah! Now, hallelujah! Hallelujah, okay. Get the, get the mushroom. Get out of here. Okay, here we are. Oh boy, there's a Bowser Jr. Oh, excuse me, I'm, I'm, I'm gonna die. Excuse me. Okay. Oh, and there's Bowser, father and son. Excuse me, I'm just gonna keep going. Oh no, what happens now? Oh, booze? I'm just gonna go through it. I don't, I don't need booze, thank you though. I'm perfectly capable of having of having a disco party without any booze. Thank you, though. Okay, well now I know what I'm supposed to do. Okay, and I got the star. Okay, just run and jump. Okay, there we go. Yep, 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 yep. Okay, and then just keep it going. Just gotta keep it going. Get this. Oops. Okay, and that's all right. Take a hit. Spam the invincibility frames. Keep it going. Get through the. Okay, spam more invincibility frames. Get through them. All right, here we go. Survive the party. Survive the booze. Here we go. Are you ready? All right, just keep jumping. Just keep jumping. And then leap of faith. Woo! And the end of the level's right here. Well, I beat it. Okay, well, thank you for submitting that level to me, peep marines. I will say, I like the concept of it, you know, running through obstacles with star power. I like it. I just don't like that I had to find an invisible block in order to complete the level. But, if anything, I'm glad it was at the beginning of the level as opposed to somewhere in the middle. So, you know, uh, you get a gold star. Also, I like that level down there in the bottom left. Yesterday, you said tomorrow! 
And Final Fantasy VII. I don't think there's a cloud costume in this game yet, right? Uh-huh. That cloud amiibo will come soon enough, and we'll see if it's compatible with this game. For now, that's one level down. Now I have another level. Uh, this one is sent by Yoshimon143. It's called Death and Victory. So I'm gonna go ahead and enter it in. Alright, Yoshimon143. Death and Victory, huh? What does that entail? Oh, it's a Mario 3 level. I'm okay with this. It's an underground Mario 3 level, too. I am okay with that. Alright! I will take it on. Your me's name is Mini Me. How cute. Ha <laughs> ha. Regardless of how cute your name is, I will get through your level, hopefully. It's a moving level, okay? I don't usually play a whole lot of these, so I'll just have to see what happens. Woo! Okay. Alright, uh, can't go up the vine, what's at, th what's at the top of the vine? Secrets, I guess, alright, I'm just gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep going, okay, do I have to do like a leap of faith? Is that what it wants me to do? Alright! Leap of faith, and I'm dead! I'm dead, I, <laughs> okay, I guess I'm not supposed to go that way. There was a pipe up there on the top left, I saw that, I don't know. Maybe later in the level I get a Tanuki Leaf and I'm supposed to fly over that part? I... I don't know. Okay. Well, but, oh, hey, Goomba, how are you doing? I'm glad I'm not the only one that died to that Goomba, but I still don't like the fact that... Well, I died to it. Alright, let me just keep looking. Let me see where I'm supposed to... go. Oh, perhaps it's a really obvious answer. In fact, maybe that vine had something to do with it. So let me hit that vine again. Let me go underneath the Goomba, up above, hitting this... Here we go! I'm ready! Aha! A pipe! Wait, no, 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 I want to get in the pipe. Thank you! Okay, here we are. Oh! Ho, 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 ho. I guess I have nobody to blame but myself for that one. I, I... I acted too quickly. I didn't scope out the area. My apologies. Okay. Here we go. I, I filled out the pee meter. Okay. I think that's what it's called. I don't remember. Either way. Okay, here we go. Go up the piranha plant vine. Here we are. Okay, I'm ready to go. Back into this doom ship area where the screen slightly moves up and down. Okay, oh, I have to bounce off these cannonballs, huh? All right, let's do it. Ah, no! <laughs> Darn it! Freak! All right, that's okay. That's a doable jump. That's a doable obstacle. Obviously, the guy who made this level was able to do it. I can do it. I can do that. Okay. Here we go. Commentary! Woo! Okay. I'm ready to play. I'm ready to play. I'm ready to climb. I'm ready to jump. I'm ready to bounce. And I'm ready to do some more climbing, jumping, and bouncing. And I'm ready to complete this level of Super Mario Maker! Woo! Okay. Man, it made the jump. Climb the vine. Jump over to here. I'm, I'm ready to go. Also, there are gardeners outside my window right now, so if you hear them, I apologize. Okay, trampoline. Okay, put the trampoline down. No, no, not that far down. Darn it! I think I'm screwed. Okay, maybe if I run and jump, something will happen. Leap of faith, and I made it! Okay. Don't know if that's what I was supposed to do, but that's what I'm doing. Oh. Well, this is the end. I can't help but feel like I skipped a major chunk of that level, but I beat it, and I died a couple of times on it, so I don't feel much of a reason to redo it. But okay, cool, first clear, 48 seconds. All right, mini me, or as your YouTube username is, Yoshimon143, thank you for submitting this level to me. It's always a treat to see Mario 3 levels because they seem to be scarce in recent times. For now, that level is done. Now I gotta pull up the code for the next level, which is by GamerGuy, GamerGuy. All right, hang on. Okay, here we go. Gamer Guy's level is called Springboard Piranha, and I am going to play it. It is a new Super Mario Bros. U level. It seems short and simple enough. It, I guess it's going to have springboards, and it's going to have piranha plants. So, I'm ready to go. Okay, and I've got 50 seconds to beat it. Ha! I gotta say, as weird as it is, I see a lot of new Super Mario Bros. U levels, but I rarely ever see any that used the propeller mushroom. 
So this is kind of nice. I, I, am I done for? I'm done for. I, I can't, I can't make it. I'm, I'm gonna die. Yep. All right, it's a simple enough level. Okay. Note self. Don't go down there. I got it. I, I, I. <laughs> Frick, man! I'm just an idiot. I have nobody to blame but myself. Hit this last one. Don't spawn any Koopas. Just get out of here. Here we go. Okay. Here we go. Spam invincibility frames. Oh, I, I needed the tramp. I needed the propeller mushroom. Darn it. Okay, well now I know. Okay, so hang on to the propeller mushroom. Get over there. Dodge the piranha plants and use the propeller mushroom's abilities to get to the flagpole. Good. Okay, here we go. And... Oh! <laughs> well, so much for that attempt. Okay! Once more! With feeling! Here we go. I'm ready to go. Okay? Alright. Alright, get the propeller mushroom. Waiting for the piranha plant. I don't... Okay, whatever. Alright. Hiya! Go over here. And... Yep! Time that accordingly. <laughs> Alright. Go down. Uh, and then shoot down to the flagpole. There we go. This level has been completed, and this is interesting. Oh, poor Mario. I'm sure all he wants to do is get to the castle, and he can't do it. What a shame. But okay. I beat the level. So thank you for the simple level, gamer guy, gamer guy. I was three seconds off from the world record. If I didn't wait for that piranha plant to come out, I probably could have done it. But okay. You get a gold star. Now I've got another level to play, and I appreciate how quickly these levels are going because that way I can get the video out more quickly and I'll have more time to work on other videos. Plus, I'm not feeling too well, so I have more time to rest. Anyway, okay, this next level is by a user named Danny Perry. He said this is one of his prouder levels, so it should be fun. Wait, seven easy. Okay. All right. Bowser gives chase. So I imagine this is a level where I have to complete it while Bowser chases me. And I've played a few levels like this in the past. So I'm curious to see how Mr. Danny Perry's level goes. He said he's proud of this level, so I'm looking forward to it. Oh. Tell you what. I'm only about five seconds into this level. And I already like it. <laughs> oh. Okay. Okay. I'm already getting hurt, but that's my own fault. I like it. So you stuck Bowser to a to a wire, to a to a trail, and I just have to dodge him accordingly. Okay. Ah, I'm also thankful that you're even giving me power up, star power. Heck yeah! I'll take that. Thank you. Okay. Becoming invincible to the fire, 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 fire. I wonder, are you peeking out just enough to where I can kill you? Nope. And that was also stupid of me. I should have known better. Of course Bowser's not peeking up. This guy has said he's proud of this level, so I imagine he did a really good job with it. So far, that seems to be the case. So of course I can't just take out Bowser with star power that easily. I'll have to defeat this level fairly and squarely. Here we go. Alright. Ah. Okay. Alright. I'm, I'm, uh, I'm ready for star power. Okay. Here we go. Hup. Good. I'm good. I'm ready to go. I'm Mario. I've got star power, though. I guess I shouldn't stay too far to the right because I don't know what's going to come next. There's a fire bar. There's a ball bomb. The ball bomb has been ignited. I'm getting hurt. Okay. Oh, bye, Bowser. Oh. I guess that was supposed to look like he was going into the pipes. All right. Well, whatever. Oh, a checkpoint. Oh, and an airship theme in New Super Mario Bros. U. It's only now just occurring to me that I played a, I played a number of levels that have had an airship theme to them. But not one of them was a new Super Mario Bros. U level. So for some odd reason, despite playing a lot of new Super Mario Bros. U levels, playing one with an airship theme feels extremely refreshing, especially when it's revolving around the simple concept. I've mentioned several times in these Mario Maker videos that I love levels that take a simple concept and expand upon it. This is a simple concept. It's Bowser shooting at me, and I had to dodge obstacles along the way. And it's expanding upon it. Now it's a, it's a moving level with different obstacles, and I like it a lot. I really like it. In fact, I feel like this is the type of level that would appear in a Mario game. Maybe not with Bowser stuck to a to a wire, but something along the lines of this. I feel like stuff like this has appeared. So, I, I gotta give a lot of credit. It, uh, Danny Perry said he was proud of this level. So, Danny Perry, you are rightfully proud. It, I'm enjoying it so far. I just, I just gotta beat it. 
Oh, uh, whoa, whoa! I'm thankful that this airship didn't plummet toward the ground after the swamp smashed that bridge. Okay. Mm, okay. I'm okay. Oh, uh, do I go in the pipe? I do not go in the pipe. Oh, do I actually have to fight Bowser? Well, I suppose it makes sense. It's time for us to finish this, Bowser. You've been chasing me long enough, and now we must duke it out in the skies. All right, I'm ready for this. Here we go. I guess I could just skip the boss fight. But what fun would that be when this level revolves around me and good old Bowser? All right, Bowser, here we go. Come on, you. Come on, come on. You can, you, okay. You can do it. Come on. Ah. Uh, I'm, I'm ready. Ah, uh, okay. Thankfully, I have an infinite supply of fire flowers. Thankfully, the creator of this level was merciful. That's a level I've, that's, that's a word I've said a lot throughout these Mario Maker videos, but it's the best word I can say. The, the creator of this level was generous enough to give me more than one fire flower. An infinite amount, in fact. Okay, now I can't even, I can't even, there we go. It's a duck, run, and jump. A run, duck, and jump, spin. I, I don't know, I made it. I have firepower. I'm ready to go. I took out the magic Koopa. Homing bills. Homing bills. Flaming cheap cheeps. Oh my goodness. Okay. <laughs> Ready to go. This level does have uh, a vibe to it that makes it feel like it would legitimately be in a Mario game. Because these these platforms feel like they're actually built together and as opposed to just randomly floating all over the place. And there's there are enemies that make use of the lava that's on the bottom. Now what happens next? More Bowser! I thought I defeated you! Or maybe I just knocked you off the airship. But regardless, this level is now over! Woo! What a cool level. I like it a lot. I really do like that. Like I said earlier, I played a variety of Mario Maker levels that have focused on Bowser chasing people. I really like this level. I really like the spin on it. So you're definitely getting a gold star. Thank you very much for submitting it to me, and I hope that I did a good job demonstrating it in the series. Also, I'm glad I set the world record on it. So hooray! Cool. Awesome. Okay. As it stands, I have two more levels that I'm supposed to play in today's video. Uh, this next one is by a guy named uh, The Gaming Odyssey, or TGO for short. This is also a level that revolves around Bowser. It's called Pokemon vs. Bowser. So, um, I'm going to guess it's an 8-bit Mario 1 level that uses the Pokemon costumes, because a lot of people have been using them ever since they gave uh, Charmander, Bulbasaur, and Squirtle costumes in this game. So, we'll see. Yeah, yeah. so I guess he couldn't do the a uh, the E with the accent mark over it, so he did an apostrophe instead. Whatever works. Alright, Pokemon vs. Bowser. Alright, let's do it. Uh, the Gaming Odyssey, TGO. I'm ready to go. I'm ready to take on your precious Mario 1 level. Ah, choose a path, huh? So let me let me just see how these are. Um, I'm gonna make, I'm gonna, okay, I can't even speak. I'm gonna say this real quickly. Uh, if this is a choose a path level where there are three completely different paths, I'm only going to show one of them Unless it's a super super short level But if I do end up dying on it a couple times and it's a longer level I'm only gonna show one path and if I am only gonna show one path It's gonna be the path for Charmander because I like Charmander and of course if you want to see the other paths Well, you know you saw the code for this level you can try it out for yourself oh, oh, But okay, where am I actually supposed to be going am I? I, I couldn't go in these warp pipes. I oh no, I can't. I can't go in these warp pipes. So I'm gonna go through the Bulbasaur path as Charmander. No, I'm not. All right, I'll do Charmander's path as Charmander. It's fine. All right, but now that I know, all right, <laughs> I get I get that fire is supposed to be dangerous, and there's only so many things you can do to represent fire in this game. But it's like, <laughs> why is this the only one that has hazards when I'm actually just trying to get to the room? There's little fire sticks spinning around all over the place. The grass room just has vines. The vines don't hurt you. I mean, unless I rip it off of the ceiling and <laughs> manage to suffocate in it or something. I don't know. All right. Whoa, whoa, musical blocks. Well, okay. I guess I can't go in the pipe. Can I get another Charmander costume? Because otherwise it's just Mario versus Bowser and that's a battle. That's been done several times. Hi, Wiggler. I'm getting out of here. Bye. <laughs> okay. No, oh, darn it. Uh, I have nobody to blame myself in my poor platforming skills. Oopsies. I don't know what it is. I just can't jump off of trampolines or musical note blocks correctly. I just suck. Oh, man. I, th I thought I finally had it with the Charmander costume and I still lost it. <sighs> All right. Either way, what's up next? Oh, dearie me. All right. I'm going to I'm gonna go in this door, I think. 
Can I become... Oh, it's a save room. Nice. Oh, which one of these is Charmander? Uh oh Oh, that was... No, I'm Squirtle. Darn it. No. Okay, and I'm Bulbasaur now. All right, whatever. I'll be Bulbasaur. All right, I, and I imagine going back through here doesn't respawn the mystery mushrooms. I guess not. Okay. Uh... Uh-huh. See, taking a grass-type Pokemon through a fire path is probably the worst idea I could have ever done. Oh, dear. Okay, just go through it. Just, okay. It's okay. So, this is nice. I guess at any point I could change paths, but considering I've already started with the Charmander path, I may as well continue on with the Charmander path. And I do appreciate the save room. Though, I don't know if I'm going to be able to get through the rest of this level while maintaining this Charmander costume. But you know what? I'll do my best. No guarantees that I'll succeed, but I'll do my... No, okay, well, that, that didn't take long. Well, okay, at least I can move on to the next part of the level. Here we go. Alright, I... What is all this? What is all this? What the heck? I can't even do anything with this. Uh... Because I can't pick up items in Mario 1. So I can't throw the PAL block. I, I, I'm no longer a Pokemon, so I can't break open the P-Switch. But I can go back here. Uh, but I can't become Charmander. Oh, now I can't even get back in here because it's... Ah, uh, Mario games. If something is one block wide, you can't really jump into it if you're going from the side. It's really weird. Alright. Oh, I'm Bulbasaur. Okay. Let's go through the plants. I guess. Nope, alright. At least at least this way I'll spawn back at the checkpoint. So, that's okay. Okay, Charmander! Thank you! I'll take this. Okay, I do appreciate that he was able to label which uh, question mark block would be which. I do appreciate it. I just think it's funny how like the fire one's clearly a hazard. <laughs> and the other ones are like, oh these are safe, but fire, ooh, yeah it's fire. Fire is dangerous. Oh, already another checkpoint? Okay. Right, uh, okay, so this last one's gonna be Charmander. Alright, here we go. I guess this is my confrontation with Bowser, right? I mean, this level is called Pokemon vs. Bowser. So let's do it! Oh, whoa, whoa, lots of fire obstacles. Whoa, and just me being an idiot, apparently. Okay. Well then, let's try that again. So, Charmander. Going up against Bowser, who's probably a fire dragon type. Well, dragon type Pokemon resist water, grass, and fire type Pokemon. So they resist all the starters. And if it's fire dragon, then it probably double resists me. But you know what? At least I'll resist the fire part of it. Now, if it was a fire dragon Pokemon, and I only had three types to choose from between water, grass, and fire, then obviously water type Pokemon would be the best option to choose. But I like Charmander. And you know what? You gotta fight fire with fire, right? Or, I guess in this, you fight fire with Koopa shells? Oh, how long is this gonna take? How many times do I have to do this? And I guess off to the left I have more options for defeating Bowser. Well, okay. I have, I, I have an option to get more Pokemon. Okay, alright, alright, understood! Oh no, guys, done it! Ah! I'm ruining everything. I'm ruining everything. No! Alright, Charmander, you're the last one! You're my last hope, Charmander! Okay, pretend you're a Charizard. In the show, in the anime, and whatever, Charizard is always the one that pulls through, right? So, let's do it. No! I'm out of Charmander! Charizard, goodness! I'm all out of Pokemon! It's time for the trainer to fend for himself! Who says the Pokemon do all the work? The trainer just needs to get into the action just as much as the Pokemon. I'll show them why I'm a good trainer. I'll defend them even when all my Pokemon are down! Come on! There we go! I gotta be close. Come on, Bowser, how many hits do you need? I'm willing to fight for my Pokemon! Come on, Bowser! <laughs> Work with me here. Work with me here. Come on! Come on, Bowser! You can you can do this. Okay, now I'll go back and hit him, hopefully. Oh wait, that did it! That's it! That's all! That's all of it! Okay, and then I gotta get rid of all these plants! There we go. I get- what was that? Styles Bowser, a hammer bro, and like four Pyrona plants? Was that coincidental that it's actually six things total? Because if so, that's funny, because it's like a Pokemon battle. Oh no! I can't get through this if I'm not a Pokemon! No! You clever, clever creator. You made it so I had to be a Pokemon. I can't win without any Pokemon. You're right. When I'm out of Pokemon, I may as well give up. No! I do like the idea of hitting Bowser with Koopa shells, though. I think that's a cool idea. Oh, that's it! 
Yeah, and it was Bowser, a hammer bro, and four piranha plants. That's six things. I like it. I like that it's six. Because you can only have six Pokemon on you. So that's cool. Okay, and then that. And then I'll go ahead and kick one more Koopa Show so that they cancel each other out. And then, since Charmander's still remaining, I may as well complete the level as Charmander. Am I right? I hope so. Okay, here we go. Now I can properly complete the level. Woohoo! So who submitted this level to me? The Gaming Odyssey! Thank you very much for sending this level my way. I do like these themed levels, and I like the idea of fighting Bowser like that, especially as a Pokemon. So, great level. Kudos to you, and thank you for allowing me to showcase it in these Super Mario Maker level videos. <laughs> World record. 9 minutes and 34 seconds. I am sorry if that discourages anybody from playing your level, but it is a cool level. Trust me. I didn't even get to show all of it. But I did spend enough time on it, so I think I'm going to move on to the sixth and final level that I plan to play for today's video. And that is a level by a user named Luigi Yoshi 3DS. He made a level for me called Don't Lose Yoshi, and it has Yoshi in the title. So, it should be good. Okay. There we go. Don't lose Yoshi. Of course, it's a Mario World level. All right. Looks like some other people played it. Took about 43 seconds. Seems seems about right. All right. Let's see how I do on this level. <laughs> okay. Here we go. So I imagine I got to get a Yoshi relatively early on. Oh, a mushroom. Yep. Got to make sure I get power ups. And Yoshi, good old Yoshi, my good old dinosaur. I'm ready to go. Okay, hiya! That's what I'm talking about. Let's go. Okay. Just don't lose Yoshi is the name of the level, so I gotta make sure that if I do get hurt, it's gotta be in an area where I can get Yoshi back quickly enough before he's gone forever. So far, so decent, I suppose. Oh, Hammer Bros, of course, an annoying enemy. Oh! But it's okay! I can get Yoshi back. I just, have to, I just have to time this properly. Cool. I did it. Awesome job! Alright, let's just keep it going. Still got my Yoshi. Still got my mushroom power up. Oh, no, oh, oh, oh. Some tricky, trippy, some tricky, tricky jumping. Not tricky, trippy. Tricky, tricky! Okay, so. These are some awkward jumps, if I may say so. I mean, I guess I can make them. I just feel like that one jump up. For some reason, I can. I didn't feel like I could make that one jump, but I, I guess I could. Alright, here we go. Alright, and then careful with the chompers. Yoshis are invincible to them, but I am not. So I have to make sure that I jump on them on the top or else I'm going to get hurt. Goodbye, chain jump. Alright, we good. There you go. Okay. Alright, and come here. Alright. Take out the chain chomps. Good. And a checkpoint. So this is at least a somewhat modern level. There we go. Or at least he added... He, maybe it's an older level and the creator just added checkpoints to it. Alright, more hammer bros! More hammer bros! Oh, I've ruined everything. Can I go back and get another Yoshi? Or am I am I just screwed forever? Nope, he said don't lose Yoshi. I broke his rule! No! Okay. <laughs> well, thankfully this level has checkpoints. And the checkpoint is right next to a mushroom and another Yoshi egg. So, I should be good to go. So, I'll take that. Thank you. Good to go. Okay. I'm ready for this. Booyah! Okay, just want to get the hammer bros out of there because they are tedious and annoying enemies. Okay, we're good. Okay. Woo! Uh, well, <laughs> let's do it. Oh, more hammer bros, but this one, this one's a big hammer bro. He's a big hammer bro. Okay, I'm going to keep going. And I fell into the pit. I have nobody to blame but myself because I am an idiot. I am sorry. <laughs> I just need to keep Yoshi. I got it. I can do it. I just keep making stupid mistakes. Alright, I know better than to mess with you. Okay. Please, go back down, Koopa. Thank you. Alright, hi. Hi, Chain Chomps. Hi, Chompers. Hello, Goal. Booyah! That's what I'm talking about. So you know what, Luigi Yoshi 3DS? You submitted an interesting level to me. And I liked it. I played levels that have revolved around keeping a Yoshi, but I like this one. It was simple enough, it felt like it could be in some sort of Mario game, and the challenge was fair, so I like it. I was by no means near the world record, I apologize for that, but that's what happens when an idiot like me keeps making stupid mistakes. 
but okay. I did like the collection of levels that I played today. They were simple, they were quick, and they were fun. So, I guess that's it. And I played uh, one level across six different users. So that's good. I, and I played one level per game too. So I played a Mario 1 level, a Mario 3 level, a Mario World level, and uh, Mario U levels. So, awesome stuff. Anyway, okay. That wraps up today's Mario Maker video. There will be one more Mario Maker video because I am uploading Mario Maker videos on the weekdays until the month of February is over. And the last day of February is February 29th because this year is a leap year. So, I'm good to, I'm good to go for one more video. So please submit your levels to me if you haven't already. For now, that about wraps up this Mario Maker video. And I'd like to thank you all for watching. See you all in future videos. Bye bye humans. Whoosh. Hey guys, thank you so much for watching my video. If you enjoyed the video, then please consider checking out one of my other videos. On the screen right now, there are various videos and annotations. If you click on one, you'll be redirected to one of my other videos. I post new content every single day, so there's bound to be something that'll catch your interest. And hey, if you want to continue supporting me, then please subscribe to my channel so that you can stay up to date with all of my latest videos and announcements. It's free, and it really helps me out. Also, I have a Twitter account. I usually post announcements there, so if you want to know what my upcoming plans are, then I strongly advise that you check that out as well. Anyway, thank you for watching the video, and I hope to see you around in the future. Bye-bye, humans! Whoosh!